Hey guys, welcome back to my next art book preview video. This week we have The Art of Warhammer, Age of Sigma and Warhammer Fantasy Battles. I do have a little dent on mine, um, but there's a quick look at the front and the back. Fairly decent thickness to this one as well. And this is a black library book, so let's get straight into this. Okay, so my apologies that the lighting may fluctuate a little bit on this video because it's quite a sunny day, um, so it's causing me a few issues. A quick look at the contents there. So this is one that uh, I actually don't know much about this. I know I say this in some of my art book videos, but uh, Warhammer is quite a big topic really. So I'm kind of hoping that some of you guys can fill in some blanks for me. Uh, if you're watching this video, there's a chance that you are, you know, you know what you're talking about when it comes to Warhammer. Um, so for me, I used to collect Warhammer when I was really little. So we're talking... 25 years ago I started collecting Warhammer, um, various armies and things like that. Didn't really know much about them, still don't to this day to be honest, um, other than the, you know, the well-known armies and legions and whatever you want to call them, uh, you know, space marines and things like that. Um, but for me, I always liked the artwork from it, but I know when I was a kid, the Lord of the Rings stuff was released. That must be like 21 years ago or something now. Something like that at the time we were recording this. And I'm such a big Lord of the Rings nerd that I swapped over to that. And for me, that I was only really collecting Warhammer because I enjoyed painting them and collecting them. So I, I know nothing at all other than, you know, painting them. So, and I, I haven't done that in a while either. That's It's been a very long time. But yeah, I just enjoyed painting them. And I always thought the artwork was really cool. And as mentioned, or shown at the beginning on the cover, this is Age of Sigma. So again, I'm not familiar with all these things. I know back when I used to collect, there was the original Warhammer, then there was the Warhammer 40k, which this still is, and then the, um, I guess, Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. Um, so I don't know if the Age of Sigma is new, but basically, I've always thought that, you know, the, the designs and stuff were really cool. It reminds me of like a Gears of War, um, Blizzard sort of World of Warcraft type fantasy. I'm sure they've been inspired by one another uh, in various ways But I recently actually here in the UK. I went to Warhammer World Which again, I wasn't sure about initially because I don't collect Warhammer and things um, But I went with my family and honestly, I was absolutely blown away by it The models the layouts the you know, this whole scene setup type things they had going on were absolutely nuts but it's always been like a bit of a complaint of mine that there aren't, or I didn't think there were many Art of Warhammer books. Um, so I started doing a little bit of research after after going there. By the way, I would highly recommend going there, even if you're not huge on Warhammer. I think you'll really enjoy it. Um, those of you who do love Warhammer, definitely go because you will definitely enjoy it. Um, but yeah, I, I started doing a little bit of research because I knew there were a few Art of books, but I I know there aren't many or at least when I was looking, I found it really overly complicated. Um, this is cool, by the way. I know this is different renditions of the same artwork. I think it says throughout this, by the way, I haven't looked loads, but I think it says a lot of these like book covers and things like that, like novels, which again, I didn't even realize why I had that many novels until I started looking for the art books. But yeah, as mentioned, so I started looking into the art books and I found quite a few but some were like limited editions. A lot of them are out of print. Some of them are a little bit harder to get hold of. Some of them, like big fancier ones, really expensive and valuable. Uh, it was a little bit overwhelming, but it was also a little bit confusing. Uh, this this company, I assume Black Library is maybe the publishing company or something. But again, please do uh, let me know in the comments. Please do you know let others know as well. I'm I'm really eager to learn this stuff. But they had quite a few books. Um, I saw a video of another one that it was quite a small book compared to this because I think this one's like, I don't know, we're 100 pages in so far. We're only about halfway, so probably about 200 pages. Um, but I did see one where it was like 48 pages and I'm sure the guy in the video said it was basically like an exclusive for like being subscribed to the magazine. You could send off um, for this smaller art book and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I, I wasn't really sure what to go with. I would have loved one of the original Warhammer 40k ones. Um, I've already got loads of Lord of the Rings books and art for like that, not specific to Warhammer, of course, but definitely check those out if you're into that kind of thing. But yeah, when I went to Warhammer World, I noticed the Age of Sigma 
like symbol was coming up on a lot of the designs I thought were really cool. They were less sci-fi compared to like Warhammer 40k, um, more generic fantasy. Again, it reminded me very much of like the World of Warcraft style that I really like. Um, some of the designs were just so cool. To me, these, um, I, I can't remember the faction names, but these like woodland kind of creatures, uh, fable, fairy tale kind of things really stuck out to me. Um, and there was a few others that I thought were really cool. And all the ones I thought were really cool happened to say Age of Sigma on it. It seems to be more generic fantasy, a little bit less sci-fi, so slightly more my kind of thing. Um, that's the one I'll go for. And I will say, though, after buying this book, I've only had a glance through. This is only my second time looking at recording it. But I didn't really notice any, if all, or at least not many, if there is some, of that faction that I just mentioned with the like woodland creatures, like tree. Um, I don't even know how to describe them, really. That's on the front of a, a old fantasy book, I think. Um, maybe this is that faction, I'm not really sure. There was a few other cool ones, but that was definitely my favourite, so I was a little bit disappointed. I think these were pretty much the only pages I did notice that could be that. But again, as someone who is super inexperienced and knows nothing about this kind of thing, I could be mixing things up. Um, I could have all this information wrong. So yeah, please do let me know in the comments below. Um, but I will put links uh, to where I got this from as well in the description box as well below this video. And we're coming to the end now. Apologies about the lighting. Again, there's a complete mix of artists and, you know, a whole lot of work in here. Some of it I think is really cool. Some of it not as cool as others. Some of it reminds me of, like, Diablo and video games, creatures, dwarves, all sort of fantasy stuff like this. Really my kind of thing. Um, but that's it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and means I can keep making content like this. Thanks for watching, everyone.